in this video i will show you guys how to design this church flyer in Corel draw if you're new don't forget to subscribe and without any further ado let's jump straight to the video but before we go into the video these are the stock images we're making use of all right so we're going from this to this i've taken out the background already so i'm going to put the link of all this in the down description for you guys to check it out and over here guys these are the text we're making use of so without any further ado guys let's jump straight to the video Welcome to Corridor guys. So the first thing we're going to do is change our paper size and the size we'll be making is of is 10 by 10 inches. So to change your size in our Corridor, you come over to your property bar and select your units. All right. And um, change this to inches. All right. So over here you type 10 by 10 inches and press enter on your keyboard. All right. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and draw this way and change that to 10 by 10 inches and press enter on my keyboard. And the next thing we're going to do is press letter P on your keyboard to make that fit to frame. So the next thing we're going to do now is remove the black stroke which we had earlier. All right. So to remove that, come over to this and right click as let's set outline color. Now the next thing we're going to do is import our images for the tutorial. So to do that, come over to file. Locate import shortcut is control plus I. All right, so once you click on it, you come over to where your files are saved. All right, so come over to this and uh, we're gonna select all of this. We're gonna select everything here and um, click on import. And basically, we're gonna place all of this over here. And this is basically what we're gonna have. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to this um, text on our notepad here. As you can see, I've write out the names of the fonts we'll be making use of in this tutorial. So you can um, use the name of the font to download the fonts. All right. So um, I'm going to copy this this text. Control plus C to copy. Then come over to your text tool and click over here. Press um, Control plus V on your keyboard to paste. Then we can give it a white color so we can see what we're working on. All right. So now, what we're going to do now is, uh, I want to bring in this background and um, I'm going to scale it up just right here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to right click and select power clip and place it into this frame. Just this way. Then I'm going to right click and select edit power clip and I'm going to bring it just right here. As you all can see. All right. So in this case, we're not going to blur this background because I like the way the background is. And uh, I'm going to come over to my effect and select adjust. Then come over to my color balance and um, we'll place this just right here. And I'm going to play with this color and let's see what we can make out of it. Out of it. And I'm going to increase my red just this way and um, add my magenta. All right. I'm going to come over to blue, add a bit of blue to red. But let's add um, yellow. All right, you can play with the colors the way you want. And uh, all right, so let's add the yellow and uh, add our magenta. Add blue. All right, so this is basically what we're going to have. We have 37 minus 77 and um, 10 pixels. So we're going to click on OK for now. And leave that to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on finish. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in this um, image just right here. And I'm going to scale it up. All right. So this time around, I'm going to scale this down a bit. All right. So once you do that, you leave that to that. I don't want that to be that big. All right. You know, if you're designing a church flyer, church flyers are meant to be um, bright. They are meant to be very bright not dull and um this case we have our our team as as we worship so i want something that we connect to the audience all right so we'll do something very simple and classic all right so in this case i'm going to leave this over here and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to effects then select um, adjust the, in this case, brightness and contrast. All right. So when we increase that to 37 and six brightness, then 37 contrast, then we're going to click on okay. I'm going to leave that to that. And I'm going to 
Um, so right click on it and select power tape then place it into this frame. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's resize this a bit. And I don't want that to be that big. All right. So we're going to just link that over there. And that is it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to bring in this um, slow. All right. Sorry, this is um, smoke. I downloaded this smoke. And uh, we're going to just, all we need on this is just the smoke. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my um, transparency to go to my blend mode and change this to screen. And uh, we're going to right click and select part thing, then place it into this frame. Now go into the frame by right clicking and select um, in this power clip. Now we're going to take it behind fill. But first of all, before we take it behind fill, we'll just drive this one down. But I want that the, um, the small to affect just um, to be on the subject we have here. All right, as you can see, like a smoke coming beneath or below the subject. Now I'm going to copy this smoke again and use Ctrl C to copy, then use Ctrl V to paste. Then I want to scale this smoke up just right here. All right. In this case, I'm going to take it behind fill. Now I'm going to use Shift plus page up to take it behind and use Control plus page up to bring it up just right there. All right. So where else does this scale that up just right there? As you can see, that smoke from the background. All right. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in this background and uh, scale it up just right here. And uh, what, what I'm going to do is I want to use my transparency tool, fade out the edge, blend it to the background, just right there, and select convert to bitmap. Then select your make mode and uh, change to RGB and uh, your resolution at 300. Then click on OK, and now you can fade out this edge bitmap. All right, fade out this edge, just right there and bitmap then fill out this edge and you can bitmap it all right so we're going to go to our image mode and change to screen all right so we can try overlay and let's try soft lights okay we can leave that to overlay and uh, this is basically what we're going to have so i'm going to just scale this one up all right, I'm going to scale this one up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it using Ctrl plus X, paste it just right here. So as you can see, it's um, affecting my subject. So I'm going to select all of this and um, use Shift page up to bring it forward. And this is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that over there. And I'm going to copy this again and paste it so that it will review very well. Just copy and paste it. All right, copy and paste and bring this forward. So this is what you are going to have. The next thing I'm going to do is let me bring this one down. Bring this one down a bit and leave that to that. Now the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to this and bring our logo and we're going to place it just right here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, church the church name and paste it here then the first we'll be making use of is capton black capton book sorry then uh, we're gonna board it and we're gonna bring this one down give it a black color all right i'm gonna reduce this just right there and place it over here and we're gonna reduce this church name and just paste it over here and that is basically what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the name and the theme of this, give it a black color. I'm going to break this apart using my cursor over here. Then use Ctrl plus K to break apart also. Now the fourth I'll be making use of this is called this one. I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to put the names of all these fonts for you guys. All right. I'm going to put the names for you guys to check it out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to scale it up just right here. And once I do that, um, I want to change the fonts of this. So Akira and Spandex. Same with this one. All right, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just place this over here and make sure it is both aligned together. And this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to use um, my shape tool. Right click on this and um, okay, before then, let's right click, right click and convert it to curve. The shortcut is control plus Q. And I'm going to use my sh um, shape tool, highlight this node over here and bring this down. And once I do that, I'm going to bring this one just right here, scale it up this way and leave that to that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give this one, I'm going to copy, use my eyedropper tool, copy this color from here. Let's pick a color from here. All right, we can just give it this color for now. Then I'm going to come over to this color thumbnail and adjust the color we have over here. So change this to RGB, that's the color mode. Then make sure this is actually set to brown, dark brown, all right? Then this is the color code over here, all right? So you can click on OK, and this is basically what you're going to have. So I'm going to pick another color from this guitar, pick this color. This must definitely be called. All right. So we're not getting the right color though, but I'm going to adjust this same way we did. I'm going to go over to my color uh, thumbnail and adjust this. All right. Take this one to RGB and make sure this is a bit um, goldish. A mix of gold and yellow anyway. You know how we do it and click on OK. Now this is basically what you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. Go into the frame by right clicking and select edit power clip. Then uh, I'm going to press letter V. And I'm going to select this and use control plus page down to take it behind. And watch that. If you take it behind so you can see this, uh, this uh, background is revealing on it. Giving us that effect on this text as you can see there's a cool effect on this text if you look closely and this is basically what you're going to have so the next thing i'm going to do is click on finish and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to bring in this snow like i mentioned before snow and smoke all right you can see that smoke on the background giving us that worship and that's you know that funny spirits um feel you know that worship feel on the background there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this one over here and um Select my transparency tool, change this to screen, and this is basically what we're going to have. You know, worship going on there on the cloud, you know, such things. And uh, I'm going to bring another one here, scale it up, build right here. And I'm going to bring another one here and reduce it that way, make it touch the frame of the text. I'm going to reduce this one, and that is basically what you're going to have. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this um, light play. We have here, place it just on the subject, change it to screen using my transparency tool. And that is basically what you're going to have. As you can see, guys, it's reflecting on the subject. So I'm going to copy another one, paste it just right here on this. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this date, paste it just right here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this one apart, break this apart, break this apart. Use control plus key to break it apart, give me the black color. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one. I'm going to cut this and link that over here. Change the fonts of this to Cinzel Black. And the next thing I'm going to do is use my ellipse tool and draw a cycle. Give it this color. Make sure this is in the front, just right here. Then the fourth I'll be making use of this is called the Jacqueline. All right, so I'm going to just place that one just right here. I'm going to change the font of this to Capton, but before then, let's change it to uppercase. Change it to Capton Black. Capton Book. I love calling this Capton Black. I don't know why, actually. I'm going to just leave that over here. 
I'm going to reduce this. Leave it just over here. Then use my free hand to demarcate a line just right here. Give it a black color. And um, let me just cut this over here. Give it 10. 10 a.m. Alright, make this one bolder. Make it a light this and then we can delete this actually now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna just place this one over here and uh, reduce that keep that one here and i'm gonna copy this let's assume this is your address you can just copy this as an address paste it just right here then you can give it a black color and once you do that you can basically now break this apart, change this to Captain Book and um, paste this over here. Alright, so once you do that, place this one over here and leave that that. The next thing I'm gonna do is bring in this name. Alright. Once you do that, you can give it a black color. Bring it just over here and um, break it apart. Just wait. Use Ctrl plus K to break everything apart. Change this to um, the jack thing. And once you do that, change this to Akira Expanded. Change this to Akira Expanded. And this one should be smaller. This. And this one should be bigger. And let's place this one just right here. And this one over there. And we can scale this one up. Just right there. And guys, this is basically what you are going to have. And if you made it to this point, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I notice you guys don't like my videos. Like, you don't give it a thumbs up. You don't like it. I don't know. If you don't do that, YouTube will not recommend this video to other people you know what i'm saying like this video subscribe support me so i can do more for you guys all right so guys if you made it to this point like i said congratulations and this is how we made this unique church flyer in corridor if you have any question guys don't forget drop me a comment in the comment section below and always remember to keep your design simple and unique See you guys in my next video and don't forget to subscribe.